Great to have you here. Yes, I do do my own announcements. <laughs> It's a massive operation I'm running here, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. Really is huge. And yes, especially for tonight, we have brought out a large polka dot bright light sheet just to flush out any latent epileptics in the room. <laughs> we'll talk to the people in the audience. Hello, how are you? We're clearly talking to you fuckers at the front. Good to have you here. 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 You have to do that. It defines the gig, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the ones on the tour this year already have been slightly bizarre. Uh, it was in Derry, right? Fantastic part of the world. There was a guy in the front row looking very imposing. I said, hey, what's your name? And the man goes, it's Paddy. I said, really? He said, Paddy. And what do you do, Paddy? I'm a priest. He said, <laughs> now, the thing is, I've said this before, right? I'm not a religious man, right? I don't even believe in God, but still Catholic. Obviously. <laughs> not keep going, ha, Father, is that all right? Are you enjoying it so far? How's that? Good man yourself. And go back. Because there's a place called St. Columns Hall in Derry as well, which is like an old temperance hall. And now once I just said, Jesus, Father, I hope you don't mind what I'm doing with the hall. And he says, don't worry, I'll exorcise it later. <laughs> which I thought was sweet him, but he said it in a really dense Derry accent, which means what he actually says was, don't worry, I'll exorcise in glitter. <laughs> and I said, what? You exercise in glitter? <laughs> and the priest goes, no, I exercise in glitter. And I went, yeah, yeah, and I couldn't get the image out of my head of the priest just sprinkling himself and then stretching and then just, and the light dancing off the calves as he went to all the things. It was a wonderful thing. It's fantastic. So that's the second level we're talking at, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking for ridiculous. It's when I eventually randomly pick you, how are you, sir, at the end of the row. What's your name, champ? Dan. Dan, how are you, Dan? Are you local? I am, yeah, London. You're a Londoner. Like what part of London? Vo Vauxhall. North of Vauxhall? Vauxhall. Oh, Vauxhall. Sorry, north of Vauxhall is the river, isn't it? For fuck's sake, <laughs> A ridiculous answer, Dan. But you never give that answer. You give a perfectly reasonable answer, and there I am mocking you for what I misheard. Oh, it's cruel, Dan, isn't it? It's vicious. And what do you do, Dan, in Vauxhall? I'm a technician. You're a technician? Indeed. That's fantastic. Doesn't narrow it down in any way, does it? That really keeps it open for any possible industry in the world. Now, in which world are you a technician? In the planning world. In the planning world? Oh, you build houses. You don't even build the houses. You kind of go, that'll fucking fall down. <laughs> Oh, God. Jesus, look at it. On an angle. Who the fuck builds on an angle? <laughs> I haven't been a technician for the last 12 years to know that you don't build a house. Slopey, slopey. Doesn't fucking work. <laughs> so what kinds of appliances do you do? Like, whatever, the big buildings, small buildings, uh, tall buildings, schools, it's, uh, hospitals? It's controversial. It's lots of buildings. It's controversial and lots of buildings. Is it really controversial? Will it split the room? That's what I want from a controversial <laughs> I want at some stage, Dan, when you tell us what kind of buildings you do, to have half the room up in arms going, for fuck's sake, Dan, I'm living about it. It's that fucker. It's, who, who, it's the guy who did the fucking controversial building. Wait, let's fucking get him. I want half the room. The other people around defending you, physically holding back that side of the room. And they lay into you with sticks and bricks. And you've said controversial. That pitches it at a relatively fucking high level of excitement here. Right? It's going to be amazing when you say this. Try to hold on to your good sense here, ladies and gentlemen. No ripping up the chairs and fucking them down to the top of the hall. Because I know you do that. The minute you hear what this guy builds, you're going to go, Jesus, not that guy. Not that monster of a man. <laughs> have I hyped it up a bit too much, have I? <laughs> it, it's not really that controversial, is it? <laughs> is it even a little bit controversial? <laughs> what is it? It's in the, in the green belt. It's in the green... Oh, you build in green belts? <laughs> <laughs> you build on green belts and you laugh in children's faces as they strip their knees of concrete and go, ha ha, there used to be a field here, but look at that, we built houses, houses and everything. <laughs> Let's not talk about work, for God's sake. Let's not bore ourselves talking with you about work. What's the most exciting thing you've ever done? Maddest thing you've ever done? Ooh. By all means, take a couple of seconds to think of it. Right? <laughs> I wouldn't like you to think that I'm on a bit of a fucking clock here, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll give you an example of some of the ones I've had over the course of the tour. A bloke in Cheltenham called Brian. What's the greatest thing you've ever done? I fell down a manhole. He said. <laughs> a man in Leeds said, what's the greatest thing you've ever done? I was handed an amputated leg. <laughs> what's the greatest thing you've ever done? Anything mad or amazing you've ever done, Dan? Oh, not necessarily mad or amazing. When I met my girlfriend, it was a great thing. It was a great thing to meet your girlfriend. It certainly was. I've no doubt it was. It was a wonderful thing. It's good to have her here tonight as well. How are you, Pat Rice? <laughs> Is the girlfriend still with you? She is, yes. She is, but she wasn't worth buying a fucking ticket for this show, was she? Not? <laughs> and he said your pal is here instead. He bought the ticket. He bought the ticket. But he didn't like your girlfriend enough to buy her one as well. <laughs> <laughs>